Brody, tell us how your move to Motherwell came about. Um, I think as soon as I came back from pre-season at Huddersfield, I think what I needed to, to develop in my career was to go out and loan. So as soon as I heard that Motherwell were interested, I was a, it was a no-brainer that that's where I needed to go. Um, I think the league, obviously, very, very competitive. It's You can't guess where who's going to finish where in the league, so I think that's what I wanted. Um, obviously, Motherwell's a big club in, in Scotland and a very competitive club, and that's what I think I needed. So as soon as, yeah, as I said, Motherwell was interested, it was a no-brainer for me. There's obviously a lot of uh, people from Northern Ireland, players from Northern Ireland, have played in the Scottish football. Mm -hmm. Does that, that play a part in your decision? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I'm seeing other players from Northern Ireland in the league who, who are thriving, you know, and they're really, really enjoying their football. They're, they're playing week in, week out and getting the most out of the league that they can. So as soon as I see that, I think, you know, that, that's what I want to be. That's what I want to be doing. I want to be playing week in, week out in the competitive league. So. And a chance as a young player to be playing the first team football? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I think at some point in everyone's career, especially as early on as you can get, you need to be exposed to that, to that men's football who are fighting every week for three points um, in a men's change room I think obviously that's a, another step it's done in your career so yeah, I think it's be really beneficial for me in my career. A lot of players may have left at day 21, 22 before they start up looking for loans and things like that but you're obviously you want to get there quicker. Yeah yeah of course I think um, as soon as the time's right I think everyone should just go for it obviously um, at Huddersfield I have very good staff and, and players and coaches who who can sort of see that it was my time and I think I'm um, being advised by the right people of when the time's right to go. Obviously, um, you don't want to go too early and and not really be ready for it. So I think as soon as the time was right and I was advised by the right people, I knew it was time to go. How do you find going away with Northern Ireland and stuff? How it helps you grow as a player? Yeah, I think going away with Northern Ireland is one of the best things ever, to be fair. Obviously, going away with your country is everyone's dream, so to be able to do it with a senior team is obviously unbelievable. Being around the best players in the country is, um, I learned so much from them and probably find me annoying with the much questions I asked them. And yeah, but I think going away with them is this big, massive learning curve and you just need to take everything you can from it. Where do you see you know, Northern Ireland are at the moment in terms of moving forward and how do you feel you could fit into that? Yeah, I think Northern Ireland are going through sort of a tra transition stage at the moment. Um, obviously a lot of young players coming through uh, which is obviously good for us, but I think it's the responsibility on the team, the older players, that to help the younger players come through. Um, it's going to be quite tough for a few years until people start getting a bit of experience in senior um, international football, but I think they're on a very good road. The team's very tight. Everyone knows each other very well, so I think in a few years' time we'll really start to be challenging for stuff and getting in the big competitions again. You must see Motherwell as a, a great sort of platform for that, not just because you know, there is that major crossover between the two, the two countries, but you, you're obviously going to get a chance here to, to prove yourself against the bigger teams like, like the Celtic and Rangers and whatnot. Yeah, of course, I think. When you're um, competing in this league week in and week out, you're you're going to be in the manager's eye. He's going to be watching. He's going to be seeing every game you play, um, especially against teams like Celtic and Rangers and, and Hearts and stuff, the, the top teams in the league. and. If you're going out there and competing and giving in good performances, there's no reason why you shouldn't be contending to get in the squad each each time. You mentioned a few players from Northern Ireland that come over here. You've only come up against a few of them on Saturday at St. Martin. Yeah. Do you know much about St. Martin? Um, yeah, I know they're a very good club. Obviously, I know Conor McManaman quite well. He was at Cliftonville while I was a young player, and I can always remember watching training and just seeing how good he was. He was probably the best player in the club, and it was, yeah, he was levels above the other players, I think. He was always de he was always destined to get a step across the water to a to a bigger league and that's what he's done. He's came here and he's proved himself. He he's fitted in very well and he's one of another reason why I thought that this league would be perfect for me. I've seen how well he's been doing in his games and you know, when I obviously went away with him last week and just watched him in the games again and seeing how much he's actually has improved just from playing a few games in this league. Yeah, it's amazing. So it'll be a great challenge on the weekend and yeah, hopefully we can do well. Have you had many dealings with Stephen Robinson as well? Um, not as much, but yeah, obviously, I know quite a bit about it and just ready for the challenge. You come over here, you, you, you started straight away from over. That's going to be something that's going to be good for you as well, isn't Yeah, of course, it helps my confidence loads. Obviously, I've been playing left wing back, but I think I'm one of them players who 
I don't mind where I play on the pitch as long as I'm playing. You can put me up front and I'll still give everything I can just to make sure I stay in the team. Is it running on the team as team mode also for this season? What's the kind of mood in the dressing room? Is there kind of a chance to redress that balance? Yeah, of course. I think in, um, the good thing about football is you've always had another, ch another chance to prove yourself. And I think the lads need to do that, obviously. The, um, I wasn't involved in the last game as I wasn't here yet, but I think um, all the lads know that they need to win this time, you know, they're already one up on us, so we can't let them go again. So the one thing interesting about this league is you can never really predict where anyone's going to finish, but you must be surprised that after four games that you're one of the top sides in the league just now, you're, you're joint top of the league. Yeah, of course, I think, um, obviously that's very good for everyone's confidence, but I think it's still very, very, very early in the league, you know, I think we need to keep our heads on and obviously just stay grounded and humble and just take it game by game and try and win every game we can. But is it, is it a strange experience now where there are so many players injured at this club and there's there's a lot of young players coming through, but you, given the fact you are only 19, but you have international experience with Northern Ireland and you're coming from a, uh, a club down south, is it strange that at your age you almost have to be kind of one of these more experienced players and, and potentially be a leader for, for the younger boys coming through? Yeah, f of course. Um, I think just the way I am, even though I'm still quite young, I've always tried to be like a leader in the team and lead by example. and. I take that on from, from the players that I watch, obviously going away with Northern Ireland and just seeing how they act. And that's the way I want to be as well. Um, there is quite a few young players in the team, but I think I'm quite experienced, even though I haven't played a lot of games, I've been around it for quite a while. So I think I take everything that I can and just try and help my teammates.